Worm Cafe. It's made by a company called Tumbleweed. And what it is is basically a worm composting bin. And I'm going to show you how to put it together, how to put the worms in. And uh, I've already received my worms. I did a short video before this one. I got them in actually a few days early, so I didn't have any place to put them. So I've got them stored in a, uh, a Rubbermaid tote in the garage for now. But I'm going to put this together and I'm going to show you how to put the worms in per their instructions. Here are the instructions they include on the back of the uh, packaging. And it's really not much to it. We've got a, a lid, three trays, and a and a bottom collector tray with a spigot and four legs. So you basically slide the legs on, screw in the tap, stack some trays, well one tray on for starting out anyway, and put the lid on. That's basically it. Can show you the lid up close here. Uh, it's pretty pretty thick plastic. It's got vents in four areas on the lid. And it's got these little uh, hooks that hook on the edge so when you're feeding your worms that lid will hook on the side like that and it's kind of convenient. I like that. It's actually got them on both sides so you can open up either way. Inside the bin, four legs, a box of coconut core, and the instruction manual. And look at the bottom of one of the bins. Uh, you see all the holes. Now here's the bottom of the collector tray. Um, this dome is so if the worms actually fall through the bottom layer, they can crawl up this and then get back out into the tray and they don't sit in the liquid and drown, I guess. Um, and then they also, right here is where the legs go on the bottom of this, there's also vent holes on every corner in the collector tray. Okay, this is one of the legs and it's it's very easy. You just simply slide it onto the corner there. I wanted to show you the bottom of the leg. It's got this uh, recessed lip, kind of. Well, it's about that high off the ground, and it's got a very fine edge there. And I think that might be to uh, help keep insects from crawling up the legs. Maybe if an uh, ant gets in there, it has a hard time crawling over that lip. I don't know for sure, but it seems like it was designed that way to help keep insects from crawling up the legs and getting into the vent holes. That's it for the base. Pop the four legs on and it's ready to go. This is the closest with the spigot. It just has a plastic nut on it. Let's just take that off, put it through the hole, tighten the nut on the back, and that's it. Okay, the tap just goes up in this hole in the base. And the nut has this flange on it. And the flange actually goes out. I'll show you in a second here. Let's get this started. Okay. Get the nut started. And then the nut kind of fits down in those grooves. And then you twist it from the outside to tighten it. And those grooves hold the nut in place. That's pretty nice actually. Okay, that's it for the spin. I want to show you this part of the design. The spigot is actually recessed down in this well and it's in the bottom of the collector tray. And so most of your liquid will go out. Um, it's got just a tiny bit of space below the spigot so you're going to have a little bit get trapped here. But most of the liquid should go out pretty easy and you're not going to have any problem. Alright, with the uh, Worm Cafe you get three working trays and the lid. And then you get this collector tray with the legs. Um, your worms go into these working trays but when you first start out you only start out with one bin and then as your worms generate compost and the first tray fills up then you add more and then they climb up through these holes and you put food in there and so the worms will come up through there and then they will vacate the bottom tray and then that's where your compost is going to be 
So you have three of these trays that you could work at one time. But you start out with one, you add the second, and then you add the third. And then as the bottom becomes totally empty, then you rotate that out and you can put it on the top. And you just keep rotating the trays. Okay, so the first working tray just sits on top. Kind of goes down into a recess and it stops on those. Let me show you. It stops on these little tabs here and that keeps it from going down too far. So this is what it's going to look like initially. Just one working tray on top of the collector tray with the lid. This is the block of coconut core that comes with the worm cafe when you get it. And I ordered my worms cafe and some extra coconut core. Um, and I actually got the worms and the coconut core in early. And this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a ground up coconut husk. And it's pressed into these blocks and so you put it in water and it expands. So I've kind of already done this. I'm not going to I'm not going to use this block. I've already got a couple of these inside this bin with my worms inside of it. So I'm going to transfer that over. And they tell you to cut the packaging up, fold it up, and put it in the bottom. And that the worms will eventually eat that as well. And it looks like it might help keep the coconut core from going through those holes initially. So I, I put at least half of it in there. And now I'm going to transfer my worms over somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do it exactly. I put newspaper in the bottom of here. And I put some paper towels over it to keep it moist. I got a little bit of lettuce in there already they're eating on. Anyway, I'm going to try my best to lift these out of there and get them over into the transfer to the other bed without disturbing them too much. Well, I had originally put newspaper in the bottom hoping I could grab it and just kind of lift this out as a single block, but it's not going to work. The newspaper got too wet and it's just falling apart, so we're just going to end up dumping it in there somehow. Try to be careful not to hurt the worms. So this isn't too easy. I recommend that you order your worms a few days after your worm cafe. Maybe you'll get luckier than I did. Okay, so I've got all the coconut core transferred out of the tote into this and I may have it a little bit too full it's uh, it's already going to be up to the level of the next tray but anyway when in the little white things you see that's bits of newspaper I couldn't get out but anyway I did the best I could but um, worms are down in here there's a couple of them anyway there's a thousand worms in here somewhere um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour the rest of the food back on top and you're only supposed to put it on one half for some reason and then I'm going to uh, cover it with the blanket I got and moisten the blanket. And the uh, coconut core is really still real moist. And then I'm going to put the lid on and put it back in the garage. Some lettuce I had pouring in there. When you first get the worms though, you're supposed to let them... You put the coconut core in and you put the worms on top. And then they're supposed to... You just dump them in a pile and they're supposed to... Um, kind of distribute themselves around the coconut core. And you're not supposed to feed them for one or two days. You're supposed to actually put it in a room with a little bit of light so that the worms know which way is up, I guess. And then they burrow, bury themselves underneath the coconut core. And then you put them, uh, the lid on it, and then you can feed them after that, too. Okay, this is the blanket that Tumbleweed makes to put on top. I just went and wet it down with the hose so it's still pretty damp. And it's made out of, it smells like jute, and so it's some kind of organic fiber, and the uh, worms will eventually consume this too. But anyway, it's supposed to lay on top just like that. I'm actually going to flip it around. It's got a little handle on it you can lift up, and you put the food in one half, and you put it back down, and it helps retain the moisture in the bin. All 
All right. So the only thing left to do is put the lid on. Okay, so the lid's on. That's basically it. Um, now I'm going to stick them out in my garage, and the worms need to stay in a cool, dark place. And my garage only gets about 70 degrees, even the hottest part of the summer. And that's supposed to be pretty much the perfect temperature for these year-round. Um, in the winter, I may cover them with a blanket or something just to keep them, you know, close to that temperature. Thanks for watching.